Project Thor by Jerry Shortkey is a bit of an oddball when it comes to classification. Strictly speaking, it's another castle defense game but replace castle with planet and defense with Arkanoid. If nothing else, Project Thor demands attention for being so genuinely unique. It's hard to describe the gameplay, but it goes a little something like this. While defending a new planet for humanity, you control a giant shield that reflects incoming attacks while building a large temporary outer shield to provide auxiliary defense. Both platforms can be rotated using a control stick and Thor's weaponry can be fired with a touch button that can be configured from the pause menu for more power, different firing modes, or entirely different weaponry. Gameplay in the main campaign is initially very slow as you gradually upgrade Thor and the outer platform to reach a population of 111 million. Eventually things get more lively, but it'd be nice if the game cut to the chase earlier or provided more early challenges to keep you interested. The graphics are mostly 2D sprite based, but are beautifully rendered with an easy to read interface. There's some replay value in the first blood mode, but proper mission checkpoints for the main game would have helped immensely, as a single game can take a very long time to complete. Project Thor is a unique castle defense game that will keep you busy for a while, and an interesting addition to any fan's collection. This has been Dave with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.